Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, today is uh, October 21st and it kind of looks like this is going to be the last good day we're going to have the calling for snow tomorrow. So we had a pretty frosty morning, it was minus 3 and uh, water was frozen. Not very much though, but it's supposed to go down, down, down. So we're supposed to get like lows and to uh, minus 12. Uh, it didn't say minus 15 there one day, but they put it down. But I don't know, one weather says it's cold, the other weather says it's cold. Or, so we'll see. I just want to get this chiseling done here. But, uh, I got two more fields to go here. See that cloud has been coming. It kind of broke out and went that way more. But I thought that was the snow cloud. So I'm just finishing off this uh, 40 acre piece here. And my usual chair is squeaking. So I bought this uh, Dagobin 5000 chisel plow here. It's a 40 foot. So I've been having to uh, do this all by hand because the satellite is out. I thought there was something wrong with this thing, but apparently I went on the Facebook site for Trimble and they said the, the WASS 135 satellite is out. So um, I guess you could switch satellites on on uh, some most of them, but this the older 500 here doesn't. It doesn't really work without a firmware update, so I'm not going to bother with it. They said the satellite's supposed to come back on in November, but I don't know why they uh, they would take it down for maintenance while everybody's still farming away and everything. So kind of kind of strange to me. So, so yeah, I just finished up here. Uh, this field was kind of kind of green, so I wanted to get her. Most of it is uh, barley. It was too ripe, and the heads fell off onto the ground. So we've got uh, lots of second growth coming up. So would have been good cow pasture. I wish I had a fence here. So yeah, this is uh, a Dagelman 5000. Bought it at the auction here just the other day. And uh, yeah, it's a 41 footer. So all my other chisel plows are 30 foot and too small for this tractor. So the 9270, 9250 can run the, the 30 footer. And I also got a 15 footer with this too. He had two of them. It was actually a 27 footer with wings, but he took the wings off because he said he didn't like the wings on that small one. And uh, he took the wings off and used all the like the wheels, tires, bearings, shanks, springs, he took them all off because apparently he was breaking them on here for some reason. He was breaking a lot of shanks. And he said that these springs were all too loose so they tightened them up lots because they're a trip. Just like a plow, they trip and then poof. And he said when they snap back down, they would snap back down so hard it would break the shank right off. So he figured they, they figured out that the these were too loose and uh, tighten them up he said never broke another one again so yeah I feel like they have this little wheel scraper here looks like brand new cylinder on there didn't notice that one I had a four bar tying harrows Got some rocks up here too and you can tell it pulled a few of them out so. and there's a little quack grass here too 
I would have liked to have got this sprayed here in the fall because they say that's when the, you can kill the quack grass the best. But I ran out of time. So uh, I'm just going to spray her in the spring and, and then plant canola Roundup Ready so it'll be sprayed two or three times. So that should uh, do her in. I know I sprayed some uh, Roundup this spring and it's had a hard time killing some quack grass. So. Yeah, I'm off to uh, I'm off to my bees now. I'm gonna cultivate that down, and then off to uh, my one wheat field there where it was rutted up pretty bad, and uh, cultivate that. I wish all our soil was like this. Oh, look at that mouse. This stuff is really nice, sandy. Never clumps up hard in the wet or anything like that. Just stays nice and soft. Canola loves this. I wish it was all the way home like this, but oh well. I was disking, but I had two bearings go out, and they're still not in. So, uh... I thought, well, I'm going to go pick this thing up and work the field, rest of the fields with this. Well, I hope it does not too bad of a job on the peas. You know how peas are. They usually uh, make a mess. So, peas straw is double. Another thing I was going to point out on here, apparently Dagelman had come up with some kind of weird-ass uh, depth system with this big hydraulic cylinder. And... Uh, I don't even know how... Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it's got a valve on there where I guess you would set that on a number and then it would hit the valve. But he said it never worked. He said it's a dumb system. He said they had that cylinder rebuilt, I don't know how many times, and it just didn't work. So they ended up just using spacers. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe they had to change cylinders and redo that. I'm not sure, but Dagelman came with those kind of cylinders. They look awfully new. Anyway, it's cold out here. I'm going back in the tractor. We'll head to the peas now. actually got some pretty cool uh, uh, locks on there you can see those two locks right there for the wings I didn't put them I'm not gonna put them in but uh, pretty simple just flip them over and then even for the for transport you just put them in flip them over and that's what locks it no, no need for pins or anything like that I like that design Well, good day everyone, it's uh, the next day now, and I told you the snow was coming. They said it was going to come, and it did. We got a good two inches. I didn't think it was going to snow that much. Um, and it's getting cold. So cold. Uh, it's only minus three right now. But the nights are supposed to get pretty dang cold, so I want to get this done before it freezes. So there's a little bit of moisture in here, so this definitely will freeze.
right over those rough ruts there. This looks like it'll be the last, last of tillage. Uh, I'll be happy with just getting this done. Uh, I still got a whole lot of hay yet, which kind of sucks with the snow because I hate uh, having the, the snow on the bales and then when you stack them like that, so it's better if they dry. I'm not sure if the snow is going to stay. back when I'm finished here. So just came out for a break. Uh, don't have too much more to go. I just went around twice on those ruts there, worked them up really good. You can see it's working out pretty good here. A lot of snow in the soil. And there's a little bit of moisture in there. So it probably will freeze but I think the snow We'll keep it from freezing. It's not bad. These big chunks will break up in the in the spring. So. But this land is definitely 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 different than what I was working on yesterday. Going from sandy soils to heavy clay soils. I prefer the, the dark sandy soils better. They always they always work out better. Produce better. These ones are this type of soil is so finicky. If it's too wet you can't if it has too much moisture you can't go on it. Uh, it gets really hard, packed, it packs like crazy. Gotta be just perfect. darker through the windows. All right. Well, I am done. Just doing the headline here. And yeah, you can see the snow just drifted. Never been working in that before. So 
that's uh, that's all. I'm just gonna head back to the yard here and call her quits. Well, I'm back parked at the yard now. I doubt we do anymore, so that's probably it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Kind of threw in the new chisel plow in there. Well, new to me chisel plow. So you got to see how it worked. There's one thing I don't like about it is the distance, like where the tires are, they're, they seem like they're really close to this shank. Not much, well, that doesn't look like too bad there. But I noticed some, some stuff would get balled up in there, so. But that's usually a sign that you should be using a disc or a chisel pump. But, it worked pretty good. Glad I couldn't use a little more. Damn fuel so expensive, though. Alright, well. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, I'm going to be pumping these videos out here pretty soon. So uh, there'll be quite a few here I got lined up. All right. Thanks for watching.